Mr. President-elect, congratulations, first of all, for the victory. Was it a surprise for you when the president accepted his defeat after 22 years in power that fast and called you to congratulate you? It was not a surprise. The Gambian people have spoken. And when the population speaks, you have to listen. Power belongs to the people. It's that force that makes everybody to be positive. Uh, on that note, we thank President Jammy for taking that bold issue. You'll take office in January. What's top on your agenda? What are you planning to do first? Uh, top on my agenda, before you start work, you have to get your men in place. I have to get my cabinet in place. Then work starts. Gambia, everybody, everything is a priority at the moment. We have to get an overhaul of basically almost everything. The infrastructure, the economy, uh, the judiciary, the media. Uh, these are all things that we have to look at. Uh, but as of now, our top priority is to get our cabinet in place uh, and make sure we get the right people. Now, the president has been in power for 22 years, and there were a lot of human rights violations in the past that you also personally criticized. You have a lot of your fellow opposition members who are still in prison. Are you going to prosecute the current president? We contest election on principle. And the principle is we want to change. That change has happened. We don't have anything personal against anybody. But the moment we take office, we will investigate uh, most of the things that have been taking place in this country, uh, then if we get our final report, we will act based on any final report we get. But we ask for everybody, justice will be for all. We will follow the due process. Nobody should fear anything. We will bring in good laws that will guide everybody. There were calls for a truth and reconciliation commission already. What do you think of this idea? Yes, that, will, that, is, that is part of what we want to happen in this country. It has happened in South Africa after the apartheid. And we have to learn from other countries. I think uh, we will set up something like that to get to the bottom of every truth. Uh, then after we see what best and what should the Gambia, we take action based on that. I remember the last time we talked, you said one of your first steps will be also to release the political prisoners. When do you think they will be free? We are already working on that. Uh, we are making a request for that to happen. Uh, the current government, I think that will be the first step of reconciliation. I think that will be a good package. As you are leaving office, uh, you leave a very good trademark. I think they should capitalize on that uh, this thing to, to do it now than later. That's the advice to the government. President Jame left the Commonwealth, actually. He decided that your country has to leave the Commonwealth. He wants to leave the ICC, the International Criminal Court, and also he declared the country to be an Islamic Republic. Will you change those decisions? The decision will change. We will come back to the Commonwealth. We will be part of all international organizations. Gambia need the international, because if you are part of the international, Gambia will benefit. Gambia is a small country. We cannot afford to be isolated. So the ICC, there is no need for us to leave the ICC. I think the ICC is advocating for good governance. And that is our principle. So we are already part of the ICC. We will not leave. It's not possible. How about the Islamic Republic? Uh, Islamic Republic. It's a secular state. We will leave it as it is. Uh, other people are Christians or a belief in other religions. I think we will allow it. We just want peace in this country. That's all. We move on. Mr. President-elect, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.